Yo, what's going on? Good afternoon. What's up to all, all my brothers out there? You know, all the men going their own way and shit, you know, out here in the world trying to make shit happen. What's going on? It's your boy, Doc Garcia, man. And um, I wanted to goddamn bring up the curious case of Michelle Obama. Um, look, man, I'm not political at all. I don't give a fuck about the Democrats and I don't give a fuck about the Republicans. I'm simply talking about the composure of the first lady. Okay. Um, look, I know, first of all, let me point out the obvious. I'm a black male in America and my community are a hive minded community. Like if you think differently than the mass majority of, you know, of like, if I think differently, you know, than the mass majority of my demographic, then I get seen as a coon or some shit like that. And I'll get shamed and all of that shit. But whatever, fuck all that. I think I'm one of the only black men in America that that's not feeling Michelle Obama. And the reason I say that shit is because keep in mind, um, Barack Obama is the pinnacle of, you know, what, what women want in a, in a black man or whatever. You know, he got a college education, he takes care of his kids, you know, you know, he's in a position of power, etc. You know, he doesn't he he doesn't have a whole bunch of scandals going on and shit, like, you know, like other presidents and shit as far as like cheating with other women. So keep in mind, Michelle Obama has nothing to bitch and complain about when it comes to Barack Obama handling his business and being the husband and provider for her and and her daughters. But yet and still, Michelle Obama, and I quote, this is what she said when um when her and Barack was in the White House. She said, sometimes I feel like a single mom. Now keep in mind. Barack Barack Obama at the time was the president of the fucking free world. My thing is, if you're the president of the fucking free world, your motherfucking wife shouldn't be saying stupid shit like that. Your, your wife shouldn't be saying shit like, well, I feel like a single mom. Man, if you're the president, if you're the president, if you're the first lady of the fucking president, your fucking job should be to support that fucking man to the fucking utmost. It's yo being president is already a hard enough motherfucking job. The last thing he need is his motherfucking loud mouth fucking wife running around talking about how she feels like a single mama because, you know, oh, you know, oh, the president is too. Oh, he's oh Barack. He's too busy to, to take care of his children. I mean. She wants to she wants to portray the single, the strong black single woman stereotype. She wants to portray that stereotype so fucking bad, but she knows that she can't because she has a man that's above average from the average brother in America. She wants so bad to find the smallest thing to fuck with Barack about. You know? Like, for example, um, you know, um, him, you know, Barack Obama and Michelle Obama was at a sporting event together. I don't mean, not a sporting event, some fucking get together. And they were sitting in the crowd and it was this this white lady that wanted to shake Barack Obama's hand. I mean, it, it, he was the president of the United States. And, um, you know, Michelle Obama gave gave her that sister girl attitude with the neck rolling, finger snapping. And I'm like, yo, this is the first lady of the fucking United States. 
So I, I, I looked at that shit and I was like, wow, man. He can't even shake hands with somebody without without this bitch looking at him sideways. I mean, it's it's you know the, with with Michelle Obama the the way that she fucking treated Barack, or the way that she came off how she treated Barack, proves one thing. It proves one thing, especially as a black man in America. It proves that no matter how much you have your shit together, no matter what position of power you have, no matter how much money you have, no matter how much influence you have, and no matter how much of a good man you are, you're never good enough for the fucking woman in America, especially the black black American woman in America. If you're working too hard, then, oh, well, you're not taking care of your kids. If you're not working at all, then, oh, you're too lazy. It's like nothing can ever satisfy these bitches. And let's not talk about the fact that goddamn Michelle Obama looks like looks like a fucking NBA basketball player with a fucking wig on. I ain't even going to fucking mention that motherfucking shit, but whatever. Now, I'm not a Trump supporter at all. I mean, fuck him, too. I mean, it's whatever. But one thing I do fucking give respect on is the fact that Donald Trump's wife knows when to shut the fuck up and know her fucking place. One thing I do give respect to is the fact that she knows when to back the fuck up, when when to when to fucking know her role and when to stay quiet. That's one thing I do respect about Melania Trump. I don't respect the fact that she was in magazines stripping butt naked for the whole world to see and shit, and she's the first lady. I mean, I mean, I like looking at her titties and all, but I mean, if you're gonna be the first lady, I mean, you know, that's not a good look. But I do respect the fact that she shut the hell up when she needs to shut the hell up. So for you women out here talking about how strong you are, like and how and how you feel independent and all that bullshit, like Michelle Obama, shut the fuck up, man. Because nobody gives a fuck about your strength and your independence. And if you want to walk around, if you want to walk around goddamn talking about that shit, man, it just makes you look like a fucking fool. Especially when you got a man that's stronger than you, when you got a man that handles his business, and when you has a when you have a man of influence and you still ain't fucking happy. This is the same motherfucking case with Steph Curry and his motherfucking wife. Ain't nothing ever good enough for these bitches, man. So that's why I say go your own way, man. Fuck trying to make these hoes happy, man. Fuck Michelle Obama, her man looking ass, bitching and moaning about, oh, she feels like a single mom. Fuck that bitch too, man. That's all I got to say, man. Doc G out. Holla at your boy. Peace.